Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm here today with a new vinyl vlog for you guys. Okay, we have, this one's jam-packed with a lot of goodness. We have Jay Dilla, we got Menomina, Record Dividers, we got Record Store Day Finds, which was this last week. I wanna hear back from you guys. I want you guys to tell me what you guys found in the store, your experiences. So, let's just jump into it. First up for today, we have Jay Dilla, his album Donuts. All right, and this was the album of the month for March. And as you know, each album comes with a uh, cocktail pairing right here. It comes with a couple of words about the album, and it also comes with a work of art. Okay. Now this is probably one of my favorite pieces of artwork that has come uh, just because it's like the style it's in, the cartoon-esque kind of urban style, which I really like. And they're also offering this uh, as a t-shirt, but I think it comes with a halo in the member store for this next month. So as soon as I saw that, I already immediately know I'm going to buy it. So it comes with, uh, you have the artwork, cocktail pairing, and if these two weren't good enough already, you open up the vinyl and see that you have uh, two albums that are clear, and that's just a bonus. All right, I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts real quick on the Donuts album. I thought it was great from start to finish. I was only familiar with it a little bit. I recognized some of the music from other artists who have sampled it before, as well as some of the samples he had done in this album. Uh, I mean, the backstory to this album is, to me, almost as great as the album itself. I mean, he was in the hospital when he was creating this album, and I mean, he made this masterpiece in the hospital, not even at full health, you know, and he just drops this amazing, amazing album, and people today still cite him as kind of their inspiration, which I thought was fantastic. I know a lot of members really enjoyed the album because they heard about the album before Bottom We Please has sent it. Like I said, I was only a little bit familiar with it, but I really enjoyed it a lot. All right, something else that came with my package uh, last month was the Vinyl Me Please record divider. Okay. And I love this a lot because my collection is, I mean, it's not the biggest in the world. And again, it's not like the smallest. I mean, I've got a good amount of records and this is something that I really needed uh, just for organization. I mean, you do kind of always want your records to be organized. And as soon as I saw this in the member store, I had to scoop it up and buy it because I thought it was great. Just like how it looks is fantastic. And then it fits easily into the shelf I have with my Vinyl Me Please collection. I've been, I've been a member for about over a year now. So I've got a good amount of albums from Vinyl Me Please enough to start having its own little personal section within my vinyl. So I really enjoy having this. And I was planning on getting record dividers anyway from the company that makes these. I'll just leave the link below so you can look them up. But I was planning on getting uh, record dividers anyway. It was just a matter of time. And then they offered this in the store and I was like, that's perfect. Next album up is Menomina, Friend and Foe. Now before, um, well, when Vinyl Me Please announced it that they were doing Menomina as the album of the month for April. Um, I Googled how to pronounce Menomina because I had no, no idea. I didn't want to butcher it. I know I would be doing a vlog. I didn't even, I didn't want to mess it up. I did not at all. All right, and I was not familiar with them at all. And I'm really happy that I am because this album is probably my second favorite or close to first favorite that um, Vinyl We Please has released. Uh, number one, or up in the air, probably being the Sylvanesso record. And that's something that uh, Vinyl Me Please sent and I listen to it all the time. This is right there along with that. I mean, I spin this all the time. So I just want to show you guys the packaging. All right, as soon as you open it up. cocktail pairing, a couple of notes about the album. 
the cocktail for this month is the Old Square, as well as we have some artwork. And I believe this is the artwork from one of their EPs. I think, I think, I think so. It's uh, one of the artworks from one of their EPs. I'm not too sure, but that's where I think this comes from. All right, and this is the album for you guys. And now I'm in a friend of Bo. Now this right here is the total package of when it comes to how a vinyl should be distributed uh, amongst people. It should be interactive. I mean, I was having, like, before I even spin this, I was having a good five to 10 minutes of fun just fiddling around with the album cover. Maybe because I'm like a big kid, but I thought this was amazing. Like, that's what you want from an album, especially a vinyl when you get it, because a vinyl you get the hold the record in your hand and this packaging is just amazing how it's they put a lot of time into just the entire look of the album the feel i mean this artwork is beautiful it's beautiful like every single cover every single angle inside of this is beautiful Okay, and this is just the front cover. We have uh, up here, you have some of the title listings, as well as, you know, it makes out different Im uh, images when you spin it. So you have a whole bunch of different images. All right, my thoughts on the album, if you guys haven't already guessed, is that I have fallen in love with this. Okay, we got some standout tracks, Muscle and Flow, Rotten Hell were probably my favorite. Um, it took me a while just to get into it because the first time I listened to it, I was kind of iffy about it. Second time I listened to it, I was like, oh my God, I fell in love with it. And this is, you can obviously see like how excited I am to show you guys. Um, if you're not a member and you have already kind of listened to this album, then good on you. Like, I don't know, I was probably hiding under a rock. I'm pretty sure I was in high school when this was, yeah, I was, or yeah, when this record came out. So. I was probably in my uh, terrible music listening to phase where it was just, it was bad. All right. But this is just amazing. So if you are a Buy Me Please member, please comment below and let me know what you thought of uh, the packaging. If you had it already, if you didn't have it already, uh, just tell me your experience that you did have with this album because I just, I don't know how many times I could say that I really enjoyed this so much. On to Record Store Day, possibly the biggest day of the year for people who enjoy vinyl and love it as much as we do. Well, hopefully you love it if you're watching uh, my video. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I picked up, uh, what I was able to. All right, I got my hands on the Father John Misty heart-shaped album okay this was an exclusive release for record store day i saw a lot of people who picked this up i really enjoyed this as well um i don't know what to say about it i mean you already know what to expect from father john misty nothing but perfection find me please release his album i think uh february yes for february they released his album as the album of the month okay and that's when I first kind of gotten into them a little bit, and it was great. Uh, another album I had is Banks. I have the remixes. Okay, huge fan of Banks. I love Banks. But when you're in there for Record Store Day, the record store I went to is a really teeny, teeny store. So you go in, and they're only letting about two people in at a time. You have a certain amount of time to get these albums you know you have someone over your shoulder and i go in i see father john missy i'm like got it gotta get it snatch it up okay i'm in i see banks i'm like oh my gosh totally forgot she was releasing some record store day gotta scoop this up grab it pay for it walk out um get home and realize that again i love banks she's amazing but that is four remixes of the same track nothing against it but I'm kind of wishing that I, you know, wasn't in such a rush. I feel like I was, there was a lot of adrenaline going. So, I mean, I'm not saying anything against it, but 
got four remixes of the same uh, same track, so I think that would be like a record store day kind of thing for me. But hey, I still got an exclusive vinyl, and I still got the Father John Missy album, which is amazing. If you guys haven't listened to it, if you didn't get a chance to pick it up, I would highly say uh, you should go and grab it, especially if you really enjoyed the Vinyl Me Please pick for Father John Misty and you just really enjoy them, I would say you should go pick it up, see if any source will have it. Okay, and as well, I got a Record Store Day poster. Okay, as well as some pins right here. I have a Record Store Day pin and then I have the uh, one with Dave Grohl on it as well because he was the ambassador of the 2015 Record Store Day. All right, so that's just a really quick vlog for you guys today. Uh, just kind of getting it out the way, just showing you guys the last month's picks, talking about Vinyl Me Please. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen any of my vlogs and have been interested in joining. If you haven't, if you have questions about it. Um, as well, coming up this past week, I just bought um, festival tickets to Governor's Ball. So I'll be attending Governor's Ball. I want to know if any of you guys uh, are attending any festivals this upcoming summer? I mean, the Governor's Ball, the lineup seemed amazing. I mean, it's Flying Lotus, uh, Warren Drugs is gonna be there, a Bible We Please alumni. We have, it's just it's just a whole bunch of people. I don't wanna list it all. So you guys can, you guys can look up Governor's Ball. But just let me know if you guys are going to any festivals. Uh, maybe we can meet up if you guys will be going there. It's in early June. If any of you guys experienced Coachella, let me know about that experience. Uh, yeah, but just let me know. Uh, it was really great just showing you guys the amount of vinyl that i got gotten in the past couple months as well as my record store date picks. I love to hear back from you guys. All right, and I'll be seeing you guys in a month. Peace out.